What's up, Cruise Crew? This is Jay Cruz, aka Noah the Audio Cat, with another beautiful day here. We are actually enjoying the day of having the uh, Blue Mustang in the family. You can see he's right there behind me, following me. We're about to go visit our great friend Adam. I think he's working on Reels car today. Uh, but just a key of motivation for you guys, man. If you really set your mind to anything, you can accomplish it. The biggest enemy that you have is yourself. If you start to doubt, if you stop to believe, you will not achieve nothing. But if you truthfully believe, you can achieve everything that you have to achieve. I believe that dreams are sent from God, and the one that limits us from getting to our dreams is going to be ourselves, guy, with this uh, life of ours. And the enemy, of course, came to rob, steal, and destroy. He came to rob and steal your dreams, take away everything he can from you. And if you let him, then he will succeed. But I do want to tell you that if you stay positive, you stay focused, man, and you just keep your mind on the right place, you can have and do anything that your little heart desires, guys. So stay focused. 2020 has been a great, uh, crazy year for everybody with COVID-19 shutdowns, job losses. I mean, everything that we can think about. But if we stay a positive mind, if we stay positive minded, if we stay focused and, and don't let nothing distract you from what's going on, I promise you that it could be still a great year for you. As far as audio, go, audio zone goes, the shot. Uh, we cannot really complain. Uh, we have been blessed through this whole time. Uh, God has truthfully put his favor and his hand upon us and has led us through this. I haven't had to get rid of another team. Um, I got rid of one team member, but it wasn't because of economy. It was because of uh, behaviors and other things that we weren't able to deal with in the shop. So I had to make the moves that I had to make. But long story short, we are here uh, staying focused and staying positive and just working very hard and doing what we have to do. So like I said, we're about to go visit right now to our friend Adam. And uh, he, I think he got real there. But we just uh, we went and got the tires set up this morning and getting everything ready to go. And we got up to get everything going for this weekend. Hopefully we get some nice street races going. And uh, y'all can see what we do. Now at the Mobile One, we got Real to Real checking out the Audio Fox 2.0 for the first time. I think our Real should go and for a drive. And it got aftermarket wheels. Look at the exhaust. Yeah, the course. Now look at the intake. What you think about it so far, Real? I like it. I like this color. Open up this hood. Damn, this color. Fine. Open up. Open up here. This color. Fine. Beautiful. Bro, For your look, olds. Look at oh damn! Got the Roush intake. You see it all certified there with the Roush number? Oh yeah. So it's pretty yeah. interesting, y'all. Pop this up. It is actually pretty interesting what he got done. Now what I want to do is I want real to get in the car and just take off for a ride. That's the Mustang. He's gonna go for a ride right now. I didn't want to see what Real's reaction gonna be, but they are working on Real's car right here, as you can see, doing something there. Gotta be disclosed later, y'all. But I hit I wanted him to go for a ride. Let me see something here. I wanted y'all to go for I wanted him to go for a ride and enjoy the car and go for a ride and enjoy himself, man, and get a feel for the Mustang. It was impressive to me. Let's see what his reaction gonna be when he comes. This car. Bro, this car fast. The car fast. This car fast. We ran him yesterday. Look at that cheesy smile again. Y'all get to see him smile. Look at this. It Damn! Bro, it's it a sunny day out there. First or second. Huh? It don't hook in first or second. Those tires ain't, ain't good for him bro. at all. At all. At all. At but all. At all. But when it gets to the third. Now, the secrets of the race. The, the, the jumping. Get right there, though. That one You're going to get to see what you can see on this video. Hey, well, Yo, Yo check this it. out. No, it went. No, <laughs> but listen what, what happened. Do. The car first, second spin. When it hooks on third, the car's out. Bro, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's really fast. I love it. I, I'm going to put the Hoosiers. See if we can get him to do off the light. We're going to go play with him and see what happens. I, see if I Audio say, Cat 2.0. I say do everything with a stock like this so you know exactly what you get yourself into. Well, he can put the tires. I know he's, he got home last night, and the first thing he wants to do, let's put the drag radios on. <laughs> like, he wants to go play with it because he knows he needs it, so he's going to get it done. Uh, yeah, but it, it moves. I, I can say congratulations, Papa. Just take care of your new toy. That's all it, I can tell you. That's what I told him. Hey, like, just take care of it. Enjoy it. Ain't nothing to prove to nobody. You ain't got to no. get called. Ah, no. Okay, you yeah. whatever. Just do what you got to do. Else? You know what you have. You are very blessed. You have a 19 Mustang, not just a regular one. You have a, a 19 with the performance package, the Everything. premium package, and all the options. Enjoy your car. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to yeah. be a fool to lose it for nobody. Ooh. But I'll tell you something right now, guys. The car is really gorgeous and it's actually very beautiful. And uh, I can only say congratulations to the success that God has permitted us to have as a family, as a unit. 
and we're going to keep on working hard as a family and as a unit to be able to enjoy what God has given us to have and uh, just be good uh, stewards of the blessings that he's given us. I know Real drove the car and I know he loved it. I felt the same way. So, I mean, from here, we can just say congratulations and let him move on. I know what he's waiting to do now is put the drag set up on the car. Do you agree or disagree? How fast do how fast you want to put him? Like right now, right? He wants to go do it. So we're going to see how this video, this day continues today, guys. We might be putting the drag set up and doing some pulls to see what happens. We decided to pop up in the shop and check out my boys. This is our day off today. Um, they are actually here working on something personal, which is coming out pretty cool for Josh. He is trying to learn how to rap. So he did a psychedelic uh, rap on his, on his gas cap, as you can see here. Came out pretty awesome. He also did his front fender, which you can also see right here. That came out pretty awesome on his psychedelic. So he did that also, which is not a bad deal. I'm all about I'm all about letting people learn, man, and do what we need to do to get to the next level as a team, as togetherness is very, very important. I can't make success without them. They can't make success without me. We kind of work as a unit. Uh, we depend on each other. I'm the brains of the operation. Uh, they're the masters. They're the ones that get it done, you know what I'm saying? So we kind of work together as a team, and I need them, and I love them, and I know that God has put them here. So uh, whenever they need something from me, man, I'm going to be with them 100. You could actually ask them for that. I've had some employees that we've had to get rid of in the shop and ask to even come back. Can I make it the best environment possible with friendship here? With family here but we're also a business so we have to respect at all times and some people just don't know how to separate the business and the friendship from the from existence right so we could be cool because exactly i spend more time with you awake than i do with my own wife and kids so let's make the best of the day but when you start to take it for granted or you start to think that it's more of a play time than a work time then that's when we have issues because no matter what i still have to be the boss of the shop and uh, being the boss is not easy because there are people you you end up falling into relationship with and to sometimes dismiss them you want to be sure you don't leave them at the wrong time christmas time the tough time you know birthdays and holidays are a tough time to dismiss somebody i have the heart i won't do it at that time you know what i'm saying i'll really work it out with you and give as many warnings as i can before that happens but the team we have today so far have been great we're still looking to add on to the team so if you uh know somebody's looking for a job and has experience we definitely could come and send them out to my way uh but uh this is what we have right now check this out y'all we closed that phone's ringing Answer listen, up, we closed and that phone just rang. I almost answered look, the look, phone. Listen, listen to it. Y'all hear it? We actually closed today. Reels over here doing some personal work. Again, like I said, we're a team here because this is his personal time to do what he needs to do. Then we're going to let him do what he has to do and uh, accomplish his job, man. So pretty much this is where we at. I got a couple deals for y'all now that we're on this video. Let me show y'all something. Yo, we have... They, they don't understand how hard we actually work. I'm here no. on my off day trying to edit a video and get a video in. And some people be like, dang, how do these people be able to afford some of this stuff that they afford and they well, doing all this? This is what it takes right here. Hard we work. on the off day, we working. He vlogging, I'm right here editing. And, and I I, this morning, done. I just got up and I edited a video this morning. So I got up early this morning, went and got an edit of a video so you guys can have content uh, and do what we have to do, man. You know, we, we love what we do, but I didn't want you guys to ever think that it's just easy as not. It's you know, not. to get videos together, to have time to come with the videos, to put the thought into the videos, to edit the videos, to post the videos. Um, it's a lot of work and then we actually have our regular jobs our regular thing we do for our regular income which is also stressful you know what I'm saying we deal with customers on a day in day out basis uh, we have to do what we have to do for our family so we do it man you know what I'm saying we do it but again you know the way you guys could give us the support is the likes the shares and the subscribes to our channels and letting us know that you're with us and commenting below is very important um, you won't understand that the comments y'all leave um, are so motivational for us at times because to know that people are watching the channel and are taking the time to comment below in my opinion it means a lot to me because it means that you guys truthfully care so we I, I always believe the comments are important what do you think about that I, me I'm into the comments the thing is when I tell people the reason why I had to start when we first started I had to make him go and answer you guys back because I said that's more important because most people want to see that you you you're engaging with them also you know and making them feel like they somebody of Correct. their own you know because if you ignore them they leave on you so that's 100 percent yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as that, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, like I've said it before many times, Real has been a true great mentor. A mentor that's been with me, uh, not only in the YouTube, but in a lot of other areas. He's became a personal friend. I've spoken about personal things, and I could truthfully say that his advice has always been 100%. So, um, you know, and the thing is, you know, me and his wife, we were talking a few days back when she was, uh, he was out of town. I had to go do a favor for them. But she's like, you know what? You guys are like, brother, could you guys fight? And 30 minutes later, like if nothing, I said, you know what? Thank God for the blessing that we've had to be able to have that relationship. So God is also, also involved. Check this out, guys. That's family. That's family. 
That's family. You see this right here, guys? 24 inches. I got all four of them. Great conditions. For sale. $600 the best offer here at the shop. We also have... Huh? <laughs> Look it. I'm gonna show you how this. We are now beginning to carry more wheels and tires. So we got the mocks, we got the TSWs. We have access to any wheels. If you want a status wheel, if you want the Rhino, we got them. What was that real? Yeah, we still got wheels that haven't even came out yet. We got the TSWs, the Black Rhinos, the Insane Off-Road, the Tough Wheels, uh, pretty much everything you can think about, we have access to. So if you do need the wheels, man, give us a shot, give us a try. We do financing also, so we have it as 100 days, same as cash, no interest. But if there's anything you need, man, we're going to be here. If you want some lighting done, if you need some underglow done, if you need some wheels and tires, if you need a grill swap, if you need to change the bumper in your car, you need some wrapping, paint body, interior lights, um, radio, system, fiberglass, man, hit us up here at the shop, man. So this is kind of what's going on. Now let's go check a reaction for the guy that they went in the Mustang. Gosh, you went for riding the Mustang, what do you think? Definitely faster than the other one. Definitely. What do you think about that? What, what, what did you like about it the most? The first pull, second pull, the third? The third. The third gear pull is disgusting, right? Yeah, that one. It, that just, one. it just gets you out of there. It's a fast car, guys. But uh, you see where it's sitting right there? That's it. Exactly we're going to stay. Always behind his daddy. It could be a Ford, but it could be behind that Mopar. Popped up over here at the Grapevine Ford dealership over here in Grapevine, Texas. Where my brother works. Um, I came to see him real quick. He wants to look at Isaac's car and uh, see what the reaction is going to be, man. But uh, this is a beautiful dealership. I know they have some hot rods in here. Let's go look at my brother and uh, find out what's going on. It's a pretty nice experience when you walk in here, that's for sure. Oh my God, look what's sitting right there, guys. Look what's sitting there. We'll talk about that in a minute. This is Juan Cruz Jr., my older brother. I know you can tell he looks older than me, but that's how you know he's older. He's at his job here at Great Mind Ford. Uh, I want to talk about that Shelby outside. He's got one right there, 350 on the wall, but that's a 500 right there. Okay, so what they want for that car? Hundred and... How much can I get it for? How much can I get it for? Guys, should I do it? I don't know. Should I do it? Should I buy it? I don't know. What do you think, Isaac? Should I buy it? Nah. It's about time to come over to the Mustang. You know they're not bad cars. No, they're not bad. I've enjoyed it. Nah, I actually bad. like this car a lot, guys. It has the, the custom hood locks in it. I'm not going to lie, I like it. I don't know if I like it enough to move from my car to here, but uh, it might be a move that I might want to make. I actually like this a lot. I like this here a lot. I like this car, guys. I don't know what to tell you. A white one here? Pre owned. 300 miles on it. Where's it at? This might be a winner. I don't know. I like this green. That's a 350, though. We got it. Come on. Oh, well, let's go see what they got. They got some beautiful cars here. That 350 is nice, but that's too slow for me. I need something fast. I don't, I don't play with slow cars. I'm actually liking this, that car. I, I actually like that car a lot. I like, they got an orange one sitting right there, y'all. Look at that thing. So they got this one here, it's pre-owned. GT500, what year is this? Man, I don't know, guys. How am I making a move? I kind of like the way the car looks. She's a beast. Supercharged, right? Yep. Open up that hood on this thing. Oof. That red one looked like the old Audio Fox. I like this car, guys. I like this car a lot. Could it take out the Audio Cat? That's the question. I'm about to put some money in it to make it fast. So she's a Jill Blower, it's a hand-built vehicle, which you know I love that about Ford when they did the SVTs, they always did hand-built. That's a signature of the guy who did it. It is a supercharged car. There goes the blower right there. So I could do a pulley on this and make it fly. It already flies. Yeah, but it's... I like this car, guys. We just got a rear of an orange one that had 1100 horsepower. They did uh, mods on it. Let me see something here. 
Guys, I'm kind of liking the way the car looks here in white, man. Um, I don't know. I'll be back. Let me go look at the car. Symbols in the back got another caliper right in the front of it. As you can see that there. The car also has a bigger caliper in the front than my Hellcat does. And I thought the Hellcat was a big boy. Ceramic brakes all the way across. It's blower, supercharged, strut braces. It's got everything. I actually like this car. They're asking 81, but these cars are going for 50 over sticker right now, right? 50 over sticker. But these cars are going for 50 over sticker. I would be interested in this car. I just don't want to pay over sticker. But uh, I don't know, guys. Let me do some numbers. Car. Out of control. Beautiful. Got the upgraded exhaust, upgraded system. It's just beautiful. The color's really gorgeous. It's definitely, definitely. And it's fallopian free. That's the biggest. It has no fallopian tubes in it. This has no kind of girl in it whatsoever. This is pure manpower right there. It actually runs really good. But guys, I'm still thinking about that GT500. I'm not gonna lie. It left me stuck there. I'm gonna go. I don't need the wife's permission to do things, but I do want to consult with her. I really liked it, that car. You gotta come see that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go from here go talk to the wife, but I like that, that car. It's unique, it's different. Not a lot of everybody, you definitely don't see them a lot, which is a great thing to it. I'm just not a fan of the auto, but I am a fan of the speed and the uniqueness of the car because it's not a Mustang you see everywhere. So I'm gonna go home and talk to the wifey. Give you an update of what's going on. This Mustang is a little bit different from all the other ones. This one, uh, there's a process when a car comes out of a dealership, they call it to PDI, which is they wash the car, do all the details, and so on. This car was bought by a guy who does collectors. This car has every sticker on it, still on the car, no mods in the car whatsoever, which makes it a collector's item, which is good uh, to one point, but bad for another, because I don't think I'm gonna keep the stickers. The pricing is uh, pretty fair. I give them, a, give them a chance to give me a value in my kitty cat, but um, I don't know, guys. I mean, it, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna show you guys the car. It really does look amazing. The car really does look good. It looks aggressive. It looks beautiful. I love the color of it. I don't know how y'all would think about me if I did this move, but um, I don't know, guys. We might be owning a GT500, guys. If the numbers work out, um, I don't know what they give it for trading. I'm not going to sell my car outright. That could be one of the biggest factors of it. But uh, we're about to see what they offer my car. If the number's right, I'll probably be taking it. If not, I might be uh, thinking about it more and making a decision if I decide to close and sell my car and buy this or go with the new C8 vet. I'm still thinking guys or even the super stock, I'm still deciding, but I'm not gonna lie, this car looks really good.